Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over the Get Some Grub achievement in Half-Life 2, Episode 2. This is one of the bigger achievements in the game, where you have to squash all 333 grubs in the game. Now that's a lot for a collectible achievement, so what we'll be doing is I'll briefly explain each of the areas, and then for the parts that are a little harder, I'm going to go into more in-depth explanations for each of those, and we'll just go from there. While you're going through the video, feel free to play along with me, and make sure your grub count matches mine, especially before any of the parts where you would drop down, and would not be able to go back and clean up the ones that you miss. Now there are a lot of achievements between Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, and Half-Life 2 Episode 2, so I have a playlist with all of my videos on these achievements linked down in the description below. Now with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Starting out, once you come up to this hole, you'll see the first five grubs. Then you'll go into this tunnel where you'll see another six. Coming right outside of that tunnel, you'll have another two off to the left and another one directly across. A little bit further down the next tunnel, you'll come up to another group of three. Then continuing through the tunnel, you'll find another six before you drop back down. Then once you get down here, you'll need to immediately turn around to get three, then go further in and to the left behind a fence. Then you'll find one in the corner next to one that's hiding in a locker. Then go down the hole next to it and you'll get another four. At this point you should have 32 and we'll move on to the next section. Then once you get to this large open area, you're going to have a lot around here. Most of these are pretty easy to spot and you're going to end up getting 28 before you have to go underwater to the next section. Now at this web, you only see one of the grubs here, but there's actually another one stuck to the left, so you may want to turn around and make sure you get that one. Then after coming up on the other side of the water, we've got two immediately in front of you. And as you fight your way through all the spider ants in this next open area, you'll be able to pick up another 15 that are all fairly easily visible. Once you get to the tunnel, you'll get another 5 before coming out to the other side of it. Then in here, you'll pick up another 5 before you get to the grub hanging out on a web. Then with the grub on the web and the next couple in this little tunnel, you'll get another 5 before having to drop back down. Before you drop down here, you should have 93 in total. Then you'll go through the hole, protect the Vortigaunt from all the antlion attacks while it heals Alex. After that sequence, you'll go through a tunnel where you'll get another 12.
then you'll run through this open area with the Vortigaunt and get another 13 before a spot that I'll point out in a little bit. Once you get to this hole covered with webs, be sure to get both of the grubs here. I actually missed the one on the right my first go and had to come back to it a little bit later on. Continuing on from this point, the next 22 are all pretty simple to get. Now coming up to another spot where you have to drop down, you should have 142 grubs in total before you go down there. Now in here, we'll clean up another 6 before we ride a lift down. Once you get down in the bottom, you'll need to look up into the shaft to get 3. Then you'll find another 12 all over the ground down here. Then before you go up the second lift, you'll want to look up the shaft to kill the next two. Then once you go up, you'll get another six before bringing the Vortigaunt over to let you through the next gate. At this point, you should have 171 grubs in total. Then on the other side of the gate, we have one that's sitting in a minecart, and four that are sitting off the ledge to the right. Then once you come up here, a minecart is going to come down towards you. There are seven grubs on the tracks that this cart will kill, and two that are laying to the right that you'll need to make sure that you finish off. Then once you drop down into some water and have to climb up a ladder, there are 12 grubs around the shaft that you're going to climb up. Then go back up the train tracks to clean up another 12 before going through the next tunnel. Then when you come out to this open area, you'll have another 17 to get before you get to the next battle sequence. At this point, you should have 226 in total. Then after you go up the elevator, you'll pick up another 10 in these mine shafts. Then as you go through this pipe and drop down into water, you'll get another 10. Then down here around the water, you'll pick up another 10 before going up a grub tunnel. Then 
then through these tunnels you'll pick up another seven before meeting an antlion guard. Now after your confrontation with the antlion guard, you'll have to run past it and into some grub tunnels. As you're running from grub tunnel to grub tunnel, you'll pick up another 32 grubs before reaching your next confrontation. where the antlion guard comes head on as you have to run around to the left to get away from it. Then you'll continue running from grub tunnel to grub tunnel and pick up another 16 grubs before getting to the part where there's a small hole boarded up. At this point, you should have 311 total grubs. Then in this area, you'll be able to get 19 more grubs. Including the grubs around and in the tunnels in the ceiling. Then once the Vortigaunt opens the next gate, you'll get another three. And finally, after Alex is healthy and you go back up the elevator, you'll have your final grub behind these boards. And there we have all 333 grubs in Half-Life 2 Episode 2, all to get the Get Some Grub achievement. Come hop on by the community discord and let us know how it went for you trying to get all these grubs. So, if you liked the video, or found it helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below with what games you'd like me to cover next.